What's cooking? Can you imagine that the Torah is actually going to tell you how to cook? Do you know how to cook your lamb? Well, God says to the Jewish people, the way you're going to take this lamb, you're going to put it on a stick, and you're going to tie its hands and feet, and you're going to put the head towards the stomach, and you are going to grill it. Why? Why in the world would the Torah attach itself to such simple, not important details? Because they are important. You see, the lamb was the idol that the Egyptians worshipped. And in order for the Jewish people to be able to merit the redemption, to merit to go out of Egypt, they needed to show that they're part of God, that they're one with God, and that they have nothing to do with the idol worship of the Egyptians. Now the Torah tells you, don't boil it, grill it. You know why? The Orach Haim HaKadosh says that when they grilled it, the smoke, when you grill, the smoke goes all over the place. There was no situation where a Jew could just put his little lamb inside a pot, close the lid, and make as if, look, look, I didn't do anything. No, no, it doesn't really smell. I'm with you guys, but I'm with God. I'm with you guys. No. If you're with God, you have to go all the way. And therefore, God said, grill it. I want you to grill it in a way that you are proud of your Jewish heritage. Take that lamb, attach it to your bed for three days. Three days, inspect it. On the fourth day, get ready. Get ready to prepare it as an offering. And this is the Passover offering. You have to pass over. You have to be Pesach. You have to get out of your personal comfort zone in order to be born. To have this rebirth, this connection again reignited. And that's why the position that this offering was given in was exactly the fetal position, the head between the arms and the legs, to show the rebirth of Am Yisrael. So if you want to feel a new energy, it's the time right now to decide and to go full force above your nature and stop limiting yourself.